Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this gorgeous and very wearable orange eyeshadow look all by De Natasha Denona. So we are going to start out with Chrism, which is from the Metropolis palette. This is a cream powder and this is we're going to use this as the base. We're going to use the Real Techniques Dome Brush to pack this on over the e.l.f. silicone primer. I just like to use that. It kind of eats up the oils and makes a really nice base. So this is Chrism and I like you know you don't have to use the Chrism as a base but I think it it allows the powder to adhere really nicely and I think it just provides a really nice base for this look and um, I've done this look without it and I like it better with with the base. We're going to go in with the refer 12 and we are going to just buff those edges out. Love those cream powders and we're just going to feather that so look how gorgeous that feathering is. So really, really super easy to buff that out. And now we're going to go in with the Inglot and Makeup Forever Aqua Black Cream Eyeshadow with my tiny random mini Stila brush. And this is going to give me that black waterline because we always like a little high drama in our lives. So I use these two together. I really kind of just dip. I put a little, little tiny bit of Inglot on some foil and I dip the brush in there and then I dip the brush in the, um, in the Makeup Forever and that just makes it really nice and creamy and soft and easy to use. I don't have to be real precise here because I am going in with black liner after. We're going to be using the Sonia G Worker 3 brush to pack this orange firework on. This is from the Circle Loco palette and this is actually a great shadow and this is a great brush and you're just packing it on and got it under the eyes a little bit and we're going to go in with the Rockin' Republic. This is going to be for the Aura which is in the little five, which is actually in the Natasha Denona little five pan. But there's, there's a little bit of gold in there, if you can see. And that just makes for a really nice brow bone highlight. And then we're going to blend with the Refer 27. Even just blending that highlight in makes a big difference. Always want very soft, feathery edges. And then this is just a old school Sephora small shader brush which I use for the inner corner. And then the same thing with the Aura. And I just think that's a really, really pretty shade. This is a great shade for inner corner, I think. Great for highlight. And then we're going to top it off with Spiral, which is also from the Circo logo. And I'm going to use just the other side of that Sonia G Worker 3 because this is just a big shader brush and you don't have to go in with a spiral but I wanted to really make it saturated and I liked the metallic look and again I took that under the eyes a little bit we're gonna use rust you can kinda of see it up there this is um, we're gonna use the Chikahoto pencil brush this is a fantastic brush and see how nicely that it's so soft and see how nicely that just packs it on there just to get it on the um, on the under on, on the lower lash line now we're going to be using the MAC chroma line this is a thicker real techniques brush this is a fantastic brush I'm not even sure if it's still out but this is this just gives a great it's very easy this is a very easy brush to use I mean look at that and that matte chroma line just goes it just glides on it's so easy to use and then we're going to use Leela from the Leela palette Layla I think it's Layla from the Leela palette and this is a just an old school smudger brush and it's a really good idea to use some toilet paper because you don't want to get this fallout um, on. And so I decided to use Layla 
instead of the black, which I could have used a black, but I felt like it may have been a little bit too harsh. But I love the way that it softens that lash line, that chrome line. It just, it just softens it and just makes it, I think, a little bit more elegant. And you can sort of connect right up there. You can connect the upper and lower lash line right there. And I can even extend that a little bit. Just softly extend that lash line. And now comes, for me, the fun part is always the mascara because I feel like you always see the look come together. So we're going to curl our lashes, which always makes a really big difference. And I have long lashes, so this definitely makes a difference. But even if you have short lashes, it actually makes a huge difference. So we're going to go in first with Voluminous. Um, again, I like to use two mascaras, but this coats separates it gets just a base on there and I love to just use that first and we're going to use a very intense Sephoric metallic cherry cream lip stain I'm not sure this is still in production but this is a great it's got kind of a it's metallic so this is I kind of thought the metallic on with the spiral on the eyes would pair nicely with the metallic of the lip stain. And this is just a great color. I love using these lip stains. I think at the price point and quality is spectacular. Again, I have very uneven lips, so I'm really taking my time to get in there, get that on there, and sort of even everything out. And I love the way that orange makes the, that orange eyeshadow pairs with the red lip. I think it's, honestly, I think this is a surprisingly wearable look and a look to go out in. And it's simple and just a really fun, different look. And we're going to go in with Cherry, Cherry MAC Lip Liner. Again, always go in with a... Um, a sharpened liner and that's just gonna help get that crisp line anywhere where I need a little help to make it crisp or even it out or thicken it and I think that came out really nice and then and actually I do like to do the first coat of mascara, then do the lip, and then do my second coat of mascara because it lets the first coat dry. And this is Outrageous Curl, and you can see how it just, it really thickens those lashes. This is just a great mascara. And look at that. It's beautiful. Really gets in there. You, it really coats those lashes, makes them nice and thick and separated and really fun. And I did actually go back in with NARS Exhibit A. That was the blush that I ultimately ended up using because I wanted the brightness. But this is the final look, and I thought it was really fun. And that's it. So if you, if you put your creations on Instagram, definitely tag me, RGRP Inspo. I would love to see what you do. And let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!